What's up, everybody? Yeah. It ain't that cold ahead like it was the other day. This camera's slow. This camera's slow. It won't shoot too fast. Yo, I was talking on Facebook. I was saying, you know, we keep talking about historically black colleges and stuff like that. But like I said, them kids go graduate college and go work for white people. That's all college do teach you is how to get out of school and go work for white people. Them black colleges don't teach you how to go work for a black business. You know, during slavery in America, 99% of black people work for white people. During slavery in America, 99% of black people work for white people. Today, 98% of black people work for white people. You graduate a black college and you go work for white people. Like I said, you go into a Jew. And like I said, we got all these ministers, all these black ministers telling you about what God is going to do. Now, and like I said, every 10 or 20 years, black people, we change our religion. We change our religion. We don't went from the black power movement. We went to, to, to the black Muslim movement, to the 5% movement, to the Muslim movement. And now we Israelite movement. Now it's the Israelites. We didn't have Dr. York. We didn't have Farrakhan. We had all these religious leaders. You got religious leaders in America. You got religious. You got people trying to teach you religion in a capitalistic society, and it don't work. It don't work. If it worked, we wouldn't be in the condition we're in. If we worked, you wouldn't have 98% of black people working for somebody else. It don't work. They teach you spirituality. They don't teach you capitalism. You need to learn capitalism in a capitalistic society. You know, y'all keep talking about the most high. What hospital do you go into? What hospital do you go to? What dentist you go to? Where you get your food from? You need money in a capitalist society. You don't need spirituality. We got all these religions and nothing to show for it. We got all these religions. Like I said, a good way to tell when you're in a bad neighborhood is when you see a lot of churches. You go in any black neighborhood in America, especially like in Harlem, and you go sit on the 125th Street, and you go left, right, north or south, North side, you go up, down, right or left, and you can find the headquarters of any religious house. You got all them churches in Harlem. Where's the money though? We still, still arguing about the same shit. We arguing about the same shit today that we was arguing about in 1967. Same shit. Cause you got all these religious leaders popping up. You got all these religious, all, all these, think of the thing, like the time span that you had all these religious leaders, what has changed? Nothing has changed. It's a social illusion. It's a social illusion. Like I was saying, I was on 121st Street one day in front of this restaurant and they was watching the Kentucky Derby and all the black people were standing around watching the Derby. They was dressed like they was going to the Derby, but they was in Harlem watching the Kentucky Derby. They were enjoying the fruit of a social illusion. If they really had money, they'd be at the Kentucky Derby and stop that bullshit. That's what it is. We got all this religion and nothing to show for it. All this religion. We keep talking about what the most high gonna do, what our life. All the religions was put on us to enslave black people anyway. Jews own slaves, the Muslims own slaves. Everybody made money for black people. And we still practicing all these religions. All these religions. And like I said, you look at most cemeteries, look at a cemetery. I'm 55. That cemetery, by the time I die, or a couple of years, that cemetery is gonna be gone. They're gonna build something on top of that cemetery. They're gonna build something on that cemetery and start all over again. That's why, look how, look how long this planet has been here and all the people that have died. Where are they buried? Your house is probably buried on the cemetery. Cause they gotta be, cause people are always dying. People are always dying. And you know, like my group, the 65 and older will be gone soon. Won't nobody be here to contest it. They'll build right over that shit. And start. Now, why do you think when 9-11 fell and they started rebuilding 9-11, they found the cemetery? Mm. The problem with, like I say, the problem with black people is y'all have a hard time being practical. That's what it is. You have a hard time being practical. Y'all believe in some spooky shit. Y'all believe in some ghosts and... Spirits and all that other shit. But y'all won't believe in nothing practical. Alright, let me go. Let 